just letting you guys know you can listen to my no bleeps podcast anywhere you stream podcasts or on my no bleeps youtube channel link in the description Hey guys, it's Billy and welcome back to Spill Sesh. Today we are talking about Jeff Wittick because he recently went off on Trisha Paytas and Ethan and Ethan's crew on H3 After Dark because he was very upset after seeing what recently has been said about him and his injury on the show. So in a recent Jeff FM clip, Jeff discussed his growing frustration and he was trying to explain why he recently went off on Trisha and sent her some upsetting text messages. Literally just like threatening straight up, but also like not scared of Jeff. Like also Jeff like ran away from me at a Starbucks. Like. And it was because he says that Trisha was saying things about him in videos, saying he lost brain cells, making fun of his brain injury, making fun of the fact that he can't think straight, all of this stuff. Jeff says that this is a reason why he kept it all a secret, why he kept his injury private, why he didn't originally want to come out and talk about this, just out of fear that people would make fun of him, they would mock him, tell him it was his fault, all of this stuff. He did not want to go through that. He felt like he was like not mentally strong enough to hear comments like that. But yet here we are with people making those comments towards him online and he says these people have really massive platforms and they're saying this stuff to a lot of people and i think the thing that really gets jeff about this is because they do have large audiences other people that watch might feel like it's okay for them to say these things about jeff and that's something that he does not want he wants to avoid that at all costs and he does mention that trisha is sort of the person that pressured him to even come out and talk about what happened to him in the first place because when he did go on Frenemies and he did do that interview and they confronted him about all the stuff that was going on with David Dobrik in that one vlog with Dom, there were a lot of questions that they asked him. And he says that during that interview, Trisha had brought up the rumors that David had involvement of his injury and says that kind of led to him coming out and sharing his story because people were kind of hearing about things here and there through the grapevine and he wanted to tell his own story before other people could tell it for him because there were just so many rumors that were coming out especially once trisha had mentioned that david might possibly have some involvement in it you also told me you distanced yourself from like david and them you're not really like in the vlog squad anymore well i've been i, I was in, in a bad accident so i've been recovering was that in utah or stuff like that your eye was in utah <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I, I don't really want to get into it. But that, it was but. a David bit, right? It was for a blog? I don't want, no, I don't want to get into it yet. Now, he says that as a result of undergoing so many surgeries and having to go under anesthesia eight times in the same year, it messed with his brain. And he says that he's tried to simply tell Trisha not to talk about the accident because it's a sensitive subject and he never wanted to start beef with trisha but the fact that trisha keeps poking fun at his eye and his brain in h3 as well is just not okay it's not gonna sit right with him and he is going to speak out about it now what kind of led to the most recent comments that have been made about jeff is simply the fact that during the frenemies breakup jeff made comments on jeff fm about how the two of them meaning trisha and ethan were fighting while eating pizza and how ridiculous it was and that, you know, their content is super toxic because of the fact that they're airing their fights, their family, and they're going after each other and the whole thing is just not good. They chose to air their fights and that's content. That's the content you want to make? Look, people love the drama, you know? You know? Yeah. You guys chose to eat pizza and argue and argue about money and your relationship fell apart and then you sabotage each other's families and the biggest deepest darkest secrets yeah that's toxic okay i'm still friends with the kid who hurt me it's just weird to weaponize the accident so those are the comments that he was making about them and as a result ethan and Ela were doing an h3 after dark episode and they were reacting to what jeff had said on jeff fm and ethan specifically had some comments that he wanted to make about jeff and he was bringing up the time where jeff was on frenemies didn't read the insider article and jeff said that he was hurt by some of the comments that ethan was making 
and Jeff took issue with even the thumbnail that they used for the H3 highlights, saying that they used his bad eye and were basically bullying a disabled. Those were his words. Jeff says that he never should have gone on Frenemies in the first place. He wasn't okay that day. He was under the influence of anesthesia. He couldn't read. His eye was shut. He had brain damage. And he knows that he just shouldn't have done that interview because he couldn't even read the article because he could not see. And so Jeff says that he made his docuseries and was vulnerable to help people and to help people who felt like their lives were literally over because of something that happened to them. And the fact that Ethan and Ethan's crew is sitting here calling him dumb, saying that he's a dumb MF. He is really, really hurt and really upset by this. And he's super frustrated by it because he says that people should not be allowed to do this. People should not be allowed to say things like this. If he were to say something like this about somebody else, he would be called out immediately. So the fact that they're sitting here with their big platforms, he is like, I just don't want to let this slide. Now, Ethan has made comments that Jeff is still in line with David Dobrik and Jeff did try to defend himself by saying, you know, hey, we have to share a planet. Now, I will say that when Jeff specifically called out Trisha and Ethan for being toxic, a lot of the comments under the video that he posted where he made these comments were calling him out for his relationship with David Dobrik, saying that him going back to being friends with David is just as toxic as Ethan and Trisha, if not more toxic. That's simply what the response was at the time when he came out with these statements. But at the end of the day, Jeff says that he doesn't want to go back and forth with Ethan or Trisha, doesn't want the drama at all. He respects what Ethan does, calling people out, but he just says that you know, he doesn't want to be attacked for things that he's struggling with. You know, don't poke fun at my eye injury, my brain damage, things that I don't know will ever heal. And he did say that Ela did defend him and says that his wife is a sweetheart because Ela was defending Jeff by saying, hey, you know, like he isn't saying anything that anyone else isn't saying about frenemies right now. And Jeff acknowledged that Ela was trying to check Ethan and certain comments that were kind of flying through the room because they were upset that he was judging frenemies. But Jeff feels most hurt because he says he did try to reach out to Ethan. They had DM'd in the past. He had opened up to Ethan more about his eyes, sent him photos of what he was going through, the struggles. They talked about their issues that they were struggling with. He said they both had mental health struggles and they have had conversations about that. So he would hope that Ethan would have respected him because of those conversations. But no, he feels like Ethan hasn't been respecting him and it's disappointing. I'm just saying, you guys don't know, you don't get it. Be respectful, please. I DM'd Ethan on it on Twitter. We had conversations about this several times. I sent him pictures of me when I was getting eye surgery. I sent him personal stuff and I just figured he'd be respectful enough to and be like, okay, damn, this guy's actually dealing with something really, really bad. And maybe let me not with him. And Jeff says that he doesn't want to deal with this and these comments anymore. And he says that he's moving on and wants them to move on too. But you guys, this week, Trisha did come out with a video, the video where she was calling out David and Natalie. And in the video, Trisha made several comments about Jeff and was calling Jeff dumb and said that he was dumber than a box of rocks. Jeff is literally rocks. dumber than a box of rocks for sure. Like, honestly, probably should go back to prison just to keep himself safe because honestly, he has some screws loose. So let's see exactly what he says. So Trisha definitely did not seem to get the memo that Jeff is not okay with these comments and these comments are not cool. Trisha described the text messages that they received from Jeff and expressed that he did not like the fact that Trisha had talked about him in the past, but Trisha was literally just talking about him anyways, despite the fact that he had made it very clear he did not want them to talk about him anymore. And Trisha was literally like, he threatened me, he's dumb, and it was truly a mess. So that's pretty much the situation with Jeff calling out Trisha and Ethan and Ethan's crew. This is definitely an upsetting situation. It's a messy situation. There's a lot of layers to this drama. I definitely want to know what you guys think in the comments down below. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. Thank you.